I'm gonna move my laptop. Can you get it? Right. I'm gonna create a hammock <laughs> image to catch the drop knife. There. So my favourite place to practice this, although you can like just sit and muck about low risk like the one I just did. You can just practice anywhere. The ones where you fling it, my favourite place is on grass because there's no noise, there's no damage to furniture or carpet or gym flooring. <laughs> and there's no objects around that could get smashed, providing there's no plant pots in front of you. So I'm just gonna go through my favourite routine of tricks which comprise the four different moves. So we've got this one, this one, this one. This one, this one. There. I'm gonna start on the bite handle, which is the one with the little wiggly thing. The safe handle is the one where if you're gonna flip it over onto your fingers, it's not gonna cut you. This is a blunt one, just so you know, but for practice sake. So we've got the bite handle on the bottom, point it down. You're gonna need to have some momentum on this and let it open up and spin around your thumb this comes back up and you're catching it on that handle. So if I go through that one. So we've got momentum, catch safe handle. Now we've got a couple of options. We can flip it back up and that could be just a knife opener. Oh, we've got the one where we can flip it forward and then we've got an aerial. Flip it back up, down, forefinger in the way, push that round with momentum. And then you're in the position for this one that requires quite a little bit of curl patience. So rather than that way, it's like this way, and it is on the safe handle. So we're gonna go. and it lands on the bite handle so you have to be ready to twist and bring it back up with your thumb out the way. You use the momentum of the knife to then flip it into itself rather than into your hand. <laughs> Is the one that took me quite a while. This, aerial, flip up, down, finger in the way, round, curl, under and back closed again. My top tips would be number one, do the without letting go quite a few times and get get used to where it's supposed to hit. So I don't want it to hit there or like too high up. It needs to be where it's going to be vertical and go seamlessly over. And I'm, I'm going to get used to feeling where it's landing and whether I'm going to catch it or not. So just practice that and getting the momentum up and then let go. Also on the aerial one, we're going to want to curl it towards our face. I have thrown it into things before, so trust me on that, like my laptop screen, which costs 250 pounds to replace. Um, and then there's the second issue of it just won't work. You need to curl it, otherwise it's it's not gonna go around and work. You have to kind of risk your face a little bit, but it can slip. <laughs> this one, I would be careful of having anything, cause it's going in a circle round horizontally. It's gonna, possibly break things around you. I have dinted my guitar. So with that one, for a while, I would only do it outside, but I'm a bit more comfortable with it now. And that particularly, I would sit and just flip it out and get that momentum and where it's supposed to sit before going all the way around and trying to catch it. As a simple um, trick on its own, one of these that I did, so, when you flip it back up and it's like that, that's the second half of a trick that I think I learnt first. So we've got the safe handle on the bottom, but handle on the top. Um, it's like chopsticks. <laughs> I'm gonna go like that, back round, finger in the way, down, and that's the open. Down again, finger back in the way, and then use that to push it over closed. As I say, <laughs> I haven't done this in quite a while, so 
so it does take quite a bit of a concentration face. I was carrying it around in my, my handbag for quite a long time <laughs> because obviously providing there's no kids around and you're not in some library or something you can just whip it out. There is the Angelina Jolie that's what she does. Doo -doo. So this is something that I kind of went down a rabbit hole into during lockdown. I also did it with the nunchucks and katana and bow staff. The bow staff I have like next to no skills in just because it's such a large object I feel like I need to go to like a beach or a park or something to practice that because we have too many plant pots and washing lines in our garden. But the issue with doing that is you'll be in a public space with a, a weapon that you're flinging around so I'm not sure how that would go down. Um, <laughs> the nunchucks as well, man they are hard. Like the butterfly knife for me was so much easier to get used to and like start progressing in. The nunchucks is really, really difficult. Um, I am going to try again because I got inspired by John Wick for um, his skills and that are just too cool. <laughs> Struggle to find it for months. Um, and I've got four of them, they just got buried within the depths of my room. So I am going to practice again and see if I can learn anything new as well and then I might pop on here and pass that knowledge on. So, to have for watching, and yeah, have a good day.